okay sorry guys the internet went down so i'm now using my service um don't know what happened but i got disconnected from the live as i was saying I need people to be honest about what is going on because it's a very delicate situation. Um, please bear in mind, it's not easy for me to come on here every time and talk about this issue. Um, a lot of people might think I am strong. Well, glory be to God. He has been keeping me. But the truth of the fact is this. It's very hard. When I look at her and I see the condition she's in and she's, you know, the things that are happening to her and what she's, she has to be, be undergoing. Well, Digicel isn't doing any justice anyway, either. The serve, it keeps, signal keeps dropping. Um, right, so. It's not easy. It's not easy. I don't think it will ever be easy. I don't think it will ever. All right, we're back again. Signal keeps dropping, so I'll keep it short. I'm not on my Wi-Fi because I don't know. It went down since night. I don't know what happened. Um, so I'm using my phone, but... The signal keeps dropping every minute and it's reconnecting. Guys, please speak the truth. Be honest and not give false hope or false information. It would be better. I'm going outside, guys, because the signal keeps dropping. And uh, yes, that is the skyline from my house. Beautiful view, I, I must admit. You see that skyline <laughs> but i'm sitting outside now because i'm trying to get a better signal right this seems a little bit better yes i'm getting better bars now sorry sorry so sorry about the cutting off right so i would like everyone to just understand that I would like everyone to just be truthful. If you even gonna say something about the situation, do it honestly. Say something honest. Speak the truth. Cause I've been as transparent as I can be, or as I'm allowed to be, cause you know, the situation has changed dramatically. And you know, I have to try and filter what I say and this is just and all this filtration is all because of the fact that i can't say something without it going further than it should or taking out a context or people making up a story or you know i wish people could just listen understand and just leave it where it is um the mri was done thanks be to god Yes, it was done, so we don't have to be searching for anywhere or anything in regards to the MRI. She has a spinal injury, um, yes. So that's where we have to focus our prayers now, on the spine. So that's why I really did the live. There's the news that from, and that news media online dot com something something. It's false, Kaylan is not walking. Kaylan is not even moving her legs. If you if you touch her foot bottom, you will get her toe to move. But other than that, she's not. She's not moving. She's not walking. She's still on life support. Um, the injury to the spine is what is causing her not to be breathing or walking or anything like that. Her motor skills are not coming in. And she's not, she can't do all this because of that. So, guys, I can't, you know. God is able. We're trusting God. 
we're we're waiting on the doctors now to give us the final reports on what they have found but i just thought you guys should know that the mri was done and yes there is indeed a spinal injury but we trust in god right and god is able and god is bigger than any problem god is bigger than any any obstacle we could ever face in life god is able to move any mountain no matter how big or small it is and you know if we just believe he will do it and i have no doubt that he's gonna do it he's done it for many i spoke to a church brother of mine and he said um he was in an accident so many years ago and the doctor said he will never walk again and he would need surgery and he never did that surgery and he's he's running jumping skipping praising god right so if he did it for him he'll do it for kaylan and many others who were have been in i know persons that have contacted me who has been shot in the spine shot in the head you know people with cancer people with brain tumors people with a, lo a lot of testimonies people who have been in car accidents you know people who have been hit down by vehicle and they said that doctors told them that they would never walk or they'd be a vegetable and god did it god did it so if he did it for them he will do it for kaylan and i believe he will you know because she's come a far away remember she was gone for six minutes and she's still here so if he brought her back then what else won't he do what else won't he do he can turn things around yes janet foot he will turn things around right yes crazy jams doing fake news as well they are the ones that i saw posted that someone sent it to me please do not listen i tell you guys all the time if it didn't come from me it's not true if you didn't hear it from me it's not true if i did not endorse it it's not true it's not true remember my name is venetia buckley there's only one venetia buckley there's only one mother of Kaylan. Now she has a lot of um, foster mothers and adoptive mothers and godmothers and, you know, aunties. But if I didn't say it, then it was not so. It's not so. And I don't appreciate people um, making memes and stuff like that and saying that, oh, Kaylan is doing this and Kaylan is walking and talking. Kaylan is not talking. Kaylan is not talking. How can Kaylan talk with a ventilator tube down her throat and a mouth guard in her mouth? Come on, people. Use common sense. Stop spreading fake news and false rumors. But you know what? We're not even going to dwell on the negative. We're going to dwell on the positive because this week I'll be going into fasting because we shall fix this. God will fix this. Yes, he, he's Shekika Lindsay. He does specialize in the impossible. Yes, you know. I think this, this incident has brought a lot of us closer to God, even myself. It's chilly out here, my gosh. Yes, it's cold. Um, this incident has brought a lot of us to God even myself because as i told you all before i had lost my faith wasn't believing on god throughout my bibles didn't have a bible in my house you know and you now i pray every day i read my bible i bought a beautiful bible I, i'm so proud of the bible that's me, me, me just want to show it off at church <laughs> trust me i want to show it off it's a beautiful bible i'm so proud of it so you know and this has renewed my faith in christ because of what he did for kaylan he didn't have to do it but he did he did you know he didn't have to spare any of us but he did 
and for that I am grateful I am grateful and you know I don't know about you you, you can say what you want to say I started writing this little song today you can say what you want to say do what you want to do but as for me I'll be praising the Lord. Look at him. I've been singing it all the way to the hospital today. You know, anybody can say what they want. Anybody can judge me all they want. They can say whatever they want about me or about Kaylan. But at the end of the day, only God can judge us. And only God can determine what our future will be. And what is going to happen to us tomorrow. So I am trusting God. Because he's going to move our mountains for us. So whatever anybody else wants to say. At the end of the day, it will not affect or change our outcome because no one has the key to our lives but God. I pray with Kaylan and I ask her to pray in her mind because she can't speak out loud. But I, and she can hear me, so I tell her, pray, call on God, and I pray with her. You know, and I believe God for a miracle. We're going to get a miracle for this holiday. This is going to be a beautiful Christmas for me because I know I'm going to get my miracle. I'm trusting God for this miracle. So, you know, let's pray for this spinal cord. Let us pray for it because we know God can. God will. God is able. So, as for me, I'll be praising the Lord. So, wish you all a good night. Wish you all a good night and have a blessed evening for everyone who is watching. Thank you for watching and, you know, just thought you guys needed to know um, that the MRI was done. Because everybody was breathing down my neck to get it done and how we're going to get it done. And I appreciate every single one who was showing the interest in getting it done. God is able and thanks to the UE team as well. I will forever be grateful to them because they have gone above and beyond and, and they have been beautiful so far. And I thank them tremendously. I am grateful because, you know, Kaylan is in their care and they have been doing a good job. So God bless you all. Have a good night. I'm going to end the live. Bye for now. I'll keep you guys posted when I get any new updates. Alright. Bye.